Question 7 of the Talent Q Quorn Ferry Elements Logical Practice Test Question. Pause the video and have a go at answering this question. When you're ready, press play again and I will go through my worked solutions with you. For those of you that are still struggling with this problem, I want to give you a small hint. Look at our table in the diagonal and see if you can spot any patterns. Pause this video once again and have a go at trying to solve this problem. When you're ready, press play again and I will go through my work solutions with you. I hope you've had a go. At first glance, it might seem like none of the arrows are related in any way. However, if we look closely at each individual arrow set, we can begin to derive some patterns. The first thing we should notice is that we've only got three different types of sets of arrows. So type one would be the perpendicular arrow set here, meaning they're pointing at 90 degrees to one another. One arrow is pointing towards the horizontal and the other is vertical, meaning they're at right angles or perpendicular to one another. So we've got a perpendicular set here, we've got a diagonal parallel set here, and we've also got a vertical um, parallel set here. So we've either got perpendicular, diagonal, or vertical. Again, we've only got vertical and perpendicular here. So these are the three types of arrows that we have got. If we notice this earlier on, this will allow us to immediately eliminate all of these alternative options here. And we only have to focus on these three options here. Reason being is if you look at take a look at this alternative option here, we've got a horizontal arrow and then we've got a slanted diagonal arrow. And we've got none of these types of arrows in our sequence. So we know we can eliminate these and just focus on these three. Um, a perpendicular one here, a diagonal one here, and a vertical one here. Secondly, in order to solve this problem, we need to realize that every row has either a perpendicular, diagonal, or vertical set of arrows. So here we've got a perpendicular, diagonal, vertical, perpendicular, diagonal, vertical. We've got perpendicular. We don't have diagonal yet, but we've got vertical. So we know our missing piece must be diagonal. So our answer has to be this one. The other way of solving this question would be to realize that there is a sequence in the diagonal. I've highlighted the arrows in the relevant related colors to make it easier for you to see. So for example, we've got perpendicular arrow here, perpendicular arrow here. So we can see when you go diagonally, they're both the same types of arrows. We've got vertical arrows here, we've got vertical arrows here, we've got vertical arrows here. So when you go diagonally, uh, there's the same types of arrows. We've got a diagonal set of arrow here. So we know whatever missing piece here should also be a diagonal um, set of arrows. So we know our answer has to be this one here. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, do leave it in the comments below. You might need to play this video back a few times to understand it fully, but I hope that made sense. If you would like to see more videos like this, do give us a like and subscribe.